Are you a professional? <laughs> Are you? That's it, Clark. Show him who's boss. Oh, we're all in this together! What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Clark Griswold YouTube channel. I am Mr. Clark Griswold. You can find me on YouTube at Mr. Clark Griswold. You can DM me there. You can follow me there. Leave me questions, comments, whatever you'd like. We put out daily option setups on that Twitter page. And you can also comment down below in this YouTube channel. You can also give me a thumbs up. I'd like that. I'd appreciate it. And make sure you guys subscribe, and when you subscribe, hit the bell, because that bell will give you the notifications when I put out videos. I do put out daily videos for uh, the following day uh, setups, so whether it's inside bars, outside bars, reversals, I go through a whole bunch of them, and then you guys can pick and choose uh, what you guys would like, and, and if you guys would like to play them or not, and... And that's that, but today we are going through the picks for Friday, February 11th. It is Lotto Friday, so that's exciting. We're at the end of the, end of the week. Also getting ready to start the new week with weekly setups um, and new daily setups for Monday. So today we're going through the Lotto Friday setups for Friday, February 11th, like I said, so... I'm going to do it a little bit different today. Today, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my main watch list that I have. And then I'm going to show you guys kind of what I pick and how I pick and what I'm looking at. And then uh, hopefully that helps you guys to do the same thing uh, to pick your own plays. Or at least kind of if you look through mine or look through somebody else's and then you can go through using those same same strategies and and. Uh, See if you can pick your own, or or at least it gives you a way to practice picking on your own. So let's get started. Um, we'll start with uh, American Airlines. <clears throat> Excuse me. American Airlines. So American Airlines today, we had, it looks like, a two-up that was green. So there is no play here. I, I have this set up a little bit different this time. I've got the daily chart here. A weekly chart here, a 15 here, and an hourly here. So we're just going to be looking in this top left-hand corner right here. And then if we do have a possible setup, we can look at these weekly and hourly plays. So as you can see here, we are all green. I'm not marking this one off, but if you want to look for a continuation higher on this hourly chart, we currently have a two down. So you could possibly see, if you're looking on the bottom left here, you could possibly see a reversal on the break of this 1878 mark for American Airlines. I'm not marking it on my watch list, but uh, it is something you guys can watch uh, going forward tomorrow. Apple, uh, same idea. There's no play here. We had a two down red. We are all red for the time frame continuity. Airbnb again, there's nothing on Airbnb, but this is very similar to American Airlines. If you want to look at this bottom left here and a reversal here, uh, you, you possibly have a, a play here on the hourly chart. Adobe again, we don't have anything here set up. AFRM, <laughs> minus 21.42% on the day. Uh, they had their earnings day today. They started off really well and then came tumbling down. So they had a high of 83.57 today and a low of 50. Hoo um, so we are all red on uh, AFRM. And you can play these outside bars. I do have them set up that way. So uh, calls would be at 83.75, puts 49.89. But... We do have full time frame continuity to the downside inside bar on the hourly on the bottom left. 
AMC, I will click off AFRM. I just mark it with a blue, and that puts it into my daily watch list. AMC, we finished two up, so no play there. But again, we did finish red coming into this hourly here, so you could look for a reversal on the hourly tomorrow. AMD, we have a two down that's red. So no play on AMD. Amazon usually has really, really high premium, so we'll skip past Amazon. Activision, again, two up, not really a play here. You can look on the hourly again. We have a two down uh, right here. So you could look for a possible play here to continue for a continuation. Boeing Company, again, two up time frame to the to the upside and then we again on this hourly we did come down at the end of the day so you could possibly look for a reversal on BA Alibaba BA BA has a two down red so I have put in the line here 12336 for puts but if we go over to the weekly so our weekly is showing green and an outside bar but if we go over to the weekly and you can see when I'm when I'm moving this the cursor, it's also moving on the daily on the left. So that'll show me where where the price is when I'm on the weekly. It'll be the same price on the daily. So if we want to see where this price changes on the weekly, where it flips to red, we would be here at 116.06, and you can see it on the top left hand corner. It's a fair ways to go to flip it, but. If you wanted to play that play, that's that's your play for a reversal at 123.36. And again, guys, if you like this setup, let me know. If you like the other ones better where I just rip through them uh, for the daily setups, let me know. Um, BAC, Bank of America, we had a 1-3 setup here. Uh, inside bar followed by an outside bar. Again, just to go over this with you guys real quick, inside bar. It doesn't break the high or the low of the previous day. It stays within that range. And an outside bar is exactly the opposite. It breaks the high, but it also breaks the low of the previous day's range. So we have an outside bar on BAC, full time frame continuity outside of this daily and I guess this hourly. So we'll see how that plays out tomorrow. Um, but the calls would be at $50.14, puts at $48.74. BAC is going on the list. BIDU is a two up, so no play, full time frame continuity to the upside. And again, on the hourly, you could look for the reversal here at the 164.88 mark. CCL, that's Carnival Cruise. Uh, we have an outside bar on CCL, full time frame continuity to the upside. Calls would be at 23.88, puts at 22.58. And again, you see we are two down red on the hourly. So again, this you could possibly get in here, okay, for a play on on Carnival. CL, which is Colgate, Bay Red Day on Colgate, they are down on everything. So I don't have a setup here currently except for a continuation if you want to look for it. CRMSalesforce.com has an inside bar, calls at 221.99. Puts at 215.86. And again, we are two down green, so you could look for a possible uh, reversal here. But as I said, we are we're all red. So pay attention to that in the AM. D dog, data dog, big gap here today, no play. Disney, big gap up, finish two red. Uh, the week and the month are green. The day is red, so nothing really to look at there. DraftKings, we have a two up that finished red, so puts would be at 2247. If we want to turn the week around to red, we would be looking at right in that range there, 2178. Dollar Tree usually has big spreads, so I, I've kind of not uh, paid too much attention to Dollar Tree lately. The spread between the bid and the ask is just it's too far for me to play them. Docu, uh, D-O-C-U, DocuSign has a two up. 
no play there. Outside bar on Etsy, so our calls would be at 148.94, 140.75 for the puts. And I think I forgot to mark CCL here. Yep. Oh, sorry. So back to Etsy. Outside bar calls at 148.94, puts at 140.75. Day and the week are green currently. And on the week, we do have an inside bar. So that's just something you want to pay attention to when you're looking at this to make sure we don't stay within this, this range. We have a long ways to go to come out of it. So uh, you can keep an eye on Etsy. EW, Edwards Life Sciences, no play there. Oh, sorry, we do have a play. We have a two down that was green. So we'd be looking at calls at 112.66. In order to flip that red weak to green, we'd have to cross here. So we definitely could do that. Edwards Life Sciences is definitely a play. Again, here you could look for a reversal on the one hourly on the bottom left at 110.95. Facebook, uh, I believe there was a play I have on here. Uh, puts at 226.39, full time frame continuity to the downside. We have a two up that finished red, so we'll be looking for a two up, two down reversal on Facebook. Next up, Fubo, no play. GME, no play. Google, again, has fairly high premium, so we'll stay away from that one for you guys who have smaller accounts. Goldman Sachs, that's GS, we have an outside bar on the daily which is the top left again calls at 37740 puts at 36895 uh mark gs as the watch on the watch list next up home depot doesn't look like we have a play here hood and that's robin hood no play there ibm i don't think there was a play here there is not Outside bar on JP Morgan Chase, JPM. Move this little bar over. Calls at 159.05, puts at 155.19. Uh, outside of this day, so if this day goes green, we have time frame continuity on the day, week, month. And this hourly, you could look for a re possible reversal as well as a rev strat um, on the hourly chart in the bottom left. So we will mark JP Morgan on our watch list. Keurig Dr. Pepper has a two down that finished green. So on this one, I would be looking for calls at uh, 3872. The week is red, but to flip it green is not much. That's where we are, 3833 to flip the week to green. So Dr. Pepper will be going on my watch list. Coke, I don't think... Is there a play on Coke? There is. So Coke finished two down, but it finished green on the day. I'll show you what I do. I take this horizontal ray. I have it saved as my favorites. Mark it over the top of the wick. And there you go. That's your trigger for the reversal on Coca-Cola 6230 on the daily. Uh, the week is red to flip it to green again. It's not much. We're right there already. So um, the week could very easily be flipped to green tomorrow on Coke. That's KO. Lucid outside bar calls at 2940, puts at 2746. Lowe's, no play, Lululemon usually has pretty high premium, so I have not added it on here. But if you guys would like to see it, our calls would be at 343.92. We go to my horizontal ray, click on the bottom of the wick of this outside bar. And there you have it, puts at 330, $330.78. Time frame, continuity. Uh, this week could flip to green fairly easily, so if you want to watch Lulu, there you have it. It's not on my watch list. Uh, MasterCard, 
We have a two down that finished green, so calls at 380.11. The weekly flip uh, would be at 382.19. That's possible we get there on MasterCard for the flip on the weekly. MGM, we have an outside bar, so calls at $49, puts at $46.61. We'll put that on the list. Monster Beverage Corporation, that's MNST. No play there. Time frame to the downside. No play on Moderna. Marvel, uh, we have an outside bar on Marvel, so calls at 78.15, puts at 73.02. I think it's actually a little higher than that. Not by much. 73.13, call it. On Marvel, so we'll put Marvel on the list. MRVL. Morgan Stanley has a two up that finished red. So we're looking for puts there at 107.08. But in saying that, the week, the month, the quarterly, and the yearly are all green. So... We'll see what happens with Morgan Stanley tomorrow. Mr. Softy, MSFT, Microsoft, two down red. Netflix, again, usually has high premium, so I've left it off the list, but I can show you guys. We grab the horizontal ray. We have a two down that finished green. Put that trigger on top of the wick, and there you have it on the daily, but your week, month, quarterly, and yearly are all red on Netflix. Neo, I always have it on my list because I like to watch it. Outside bar on Neo calls at 2639, puts at 2525. And I believe there's a there's a gap here to fill, and there's also this gap down here to fill. So we'll see how Neo plays out tomorrow. Nike NKE. Is an outside bar, calls 147.61, puts at 143.84. NVIDIA NVDA had a two up on the day. We can see that here, but it did finish red. Puts would be at 255.81. We'll see how the time frame works on NVIDIA NVDA. Oracle ORCL, outside bar. Puts at 81.57, calls at 83.30. I'm going to run through these fairly quickly now, guys, because we're running in now to 20 minutes here. Uh, Pfizer, possible rev strat on the upside, but we do have time frame continuity to the downside. So Procter & Gamble, no play. Pinterest, PINS, has an outside bar, so calls at 27.36. Puts at 25.33, full time frame continuity to the downside. Palantir, PLTR, no play. Uh, Plug Power has a shooter, but I don't have it on my list. You guys can add it on there. I do not. Peloton, PTON, green on the time frame. We have a 1 2, so a possible rev strat to the downside. But we are all green on the time frame. So PayPal has an outside bar. Calls at 125.33. Puts at 118.34. Time frame to the downside. QQQ, no play. Time frame to the downside. Roblox, no play. Roku, I think there is a play here. We finish two up. Red. Uh, puts at 163.12. To flip the week to red. We need to be here, so that would be your first target on your daily on Roku. So Roku can go on the list. Starbucks, uh, no play. C Limited, two up, that's red. So puts at 164.07. Snap, no play. Virgin Galactic, which is space, SPCE. We finished two up red, so we'd be looking for a two up, two down here. Puts at $8.79, time frame to the downside, and we won't take much to flip that. Uh, sorry, not to flip it, but to break out of that inside bar. Uh, we have a fair ways to go, but we have full time frame, but we are trading on the week inside on the weekly. 
Spy, just another one I keep on my list all the time to watch full time frame to the downside. We'll see how Spy plays out tomorrow. Block, which is also square, SQ, two up that finish red, puts at 107.30. TD, Toronto Dominion Bank, outside bar, puts at 84.17, calls at $85.63. Teladoc, TDOC, we have on Teladoc, no play. We do have a shooter, though, on that one. No play on Tech L. That's a tough one to play anyways. Target, we have an outside bar, calls at 217.52, puts at $212.57. Time frame to the downside. Tesla, nothing. The trade desk, nothing. TELUS, nothing. Twitter, TWTR, nothing. Nothing currently. Uber, outside bar. Rough day for Uber today. 42.67 on the calls. 37.33 on the puts for Uber. Upstart, outside bar. Calls at 120.16. Puts at 102.07. And again, guys, let me know if you like me showing you guys this with the four screens or if you just prefer the one comment below let me know actually comment one for one screen or comment four for four that's a good idea uh what do we got here nothing on visa nothing vroom i don't play that often vroom has a two up to finish red we can flip that week pretty easily to red uh here so as soon as we pass that trigger here of 738 we're flipping to red on the weekly so you could watch vrm if you'd like to walmart we got a gap down today uh, outside bar on ford so calls at 1864 puts at 17 dollars 88 cents lyft lift two up on the day that finished red so you can look for puts at 4170 uh, i don't think that week will get flipped tomorrow Chewy and CMG, I don't usually play. d Doll, Trump Stock, Inside Bar. I love Inside Bars and playing them. They're powerful, powerful plays. Uh, calls at 85.12, puts at $81.33 on d uh, The weekly is red. What's it going to take for us to flip the red to green? Why is that not working? Let's do this. There we go. I don't know how many that went back for, but DWAC. To flip red to green. Uh, basically, just before our first target here, if we cross to the high side, uh, the week will flip. Exxon, Exxon, Exxon Mobile, uh, no setups currently there. And again, a lot of these still could go reversal, guys. You have to watch them. I'm just looking for more probable plays uh, that, are, that are possible. This one here, like this ProShares UDOW, we have a two green hammer, two down green hammer. So... Could we flip here tomorrow on the on the first hour? Yes, we definitely could at 77.06, and you could take it to targets of 77.58 in around that area. So there's always plays to look at. I'm just trying to set up the most probable. DIA, diamonds, we got nothing. GE, we have an outside bar that... Uh, we had two inside bars following... Previous to that, so a 113 calls would be at $100.71, puts at $98 on GE. Uh, time frame weekly is red, but to flip it to green again, uh, if we're breaking out of the outside bar, we're flipping the week to green. So GE, I can put on the list. CVX, which is Chevron. Chevron. Same as GE, two inside bars. Wow, it was an outside. 3113, outside, inside, inside, outside. 
Calls at 138.86, puts to 135.36 on CVX. Time frame outside of today is to the upside. So again, you could possibly look for a reversal on this one hour chart at this hammer candle here at 39.22. SLB, uh, we have a two up that finished red. Uh, and there was a couple inside bars and a three bar from Schlumberger. So again, rev strat on this one at 38.90, but you would be going against the weekly uh, green that we've got. Now, if we look at it, it would take a lot or you'd have to come down quite a bit to flip the week to red. VLO, Valero Energy, uh, I think this was on my playlist from today. We broke 89.51 and went all the way to 90.72, somewhere in that range. Again, we had full time frame to the upside, so that would have been a good play to take today. We'll see what it does tomorrow. SoFi, two up that finished red, so puts would be at $12.28. And we have time frame to the downside outside of the week, but it's not going to take us much to flip that week. Not a whole bunch anyway, so you can put SoFi on that list. And that's it, guys. That's how I do it. I run through my main watch list, pick out the ones that are most probable, and that's how we play them. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe again, click that bell, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Clark Griswold. And we will see you on the next one, guys. Good luck on Lotto Friday.